Now we need to uh, do some role mapping. First we need to add some security constraints. Those need a uh, web resource collection. And web resource collection means you define some resources, some uh, pages in your application which are only be accessible for specific roles. Now we create web resource name or resources everything should be blocked for a specific URL pattern pattern which yeah will be our index xhtml so we want to block this side from as accessing so no one can exit this until he is locked in and in the correct group for this resource collection we will define the authentication constraints which are row name admin so only if you are in the group admin uh, you uh, can access this site if you are in another role name whatever you call it then you will have to change this name to the group which should have access if you want to have a second group accessing this you could just copy this line and have a second one now we uh, define the role name which so don't mind about these errors here it's just because these sites are not existing are not existing right now we will create them and now we define that the role admin should uh, yeah is, is able to access this page but uh, but how should the application know which role which group is in the role admin so I just called it admin here I just could call it role admin and now now I need to map the group name admin we defined in the database to the role admin which is done in the glassfish web XML and here we will add a security role mapping in this role we define a role this role is now our role admin as we defined it in or as we will use it here and in this role the group admin will be edited so this is basically all we need. If in the database the user is in the group admin, he would get the role admin here in this application, which is allowed to access the index xhtml. If you want to define more roles here, you would just copy this block and add or yeah, change those parameters. We won't need more groups right now. We will now add the login pages so login is html and we add new file login error that is html still an error 23 alright oh, we need to add those slashes here ah, right so we need to slash here as well so now it's synchronized and we are fine uh, now this page would be called this page is empty so we need to add we need a specific form on our login page which calls uh, well which which makes a post call to the J security check action which is provided by glassfish so uh, this yeah, this form needs to have two text fields. One text field uh, called J username and one called J password, which I guess is uh, it's obvious what f uh, these fields are needed for. So I will just copy the header from here. Head. body and close the html tag 
I guess we won't need any header here, but maybe we want to make a title. So log in and in the body we will now put an H form. So normally you would just call uh, say form action J security check, but we want to use the H form here, so we need to do a small workaround for this. I call this ID login. It's neat this ID, and then we call an on submit, which is basically the action parameter. But we will now call a JavaScript here, which gets the element by ID, and which uh, uh, this is why we uh, set the ID to log in because now we can uh, call it from here and then set the action to J security check which yeah is a small workaround to call the J security check and now we will put a panel grid here this panel grid we get two columns one for the label one for the text box and now we can put oh sorry output label here is a name and I will just copy this for the password So now we need an input text which has oh sorry which needs a name called J username and it's important to use this name because otherwise it wouldn't work. And we need an input text for the password which is J password. You could optionally set parameters required true. But, uh, yeah, that's not so important for this tutorial now. Uh, and, yeah, every form needs a submit button. We will use a command button for this. And, yeah, this button has the text login or whatever and yeah now we need our login error page uh, we'll just copy this from here and basically write error in here so you can customize this however you want it so this is uh, ah, I think we need to add the ID as well which needs called like this, uh, like the name as well, and we have to set uh, an attribute here, which is called prepend ID, which uh, we set to false, otherwise uh, our input text would get an ID called login uj username, because it's in the login form. Um, yeah, we don't want this, because otherwise the class server, the j security check, doesn't uh, get the right field properties and now we can start this in the browser so we go localhost 8080 first app and we have our login window we uh, say John Doe call it so the password is test normally you would make this field a password field so login works. Just uh, to show you what would happen if the login would fail, you have to remove this because we don't have a lockout button yet and he would save the session we get. So it's redeployed, the session is gone, we can relog again. So I enter some false values here, we came to our error page, we created and yeah and this is basically how the security realms form class version work. 
and yeah i hope you understand it if you have any questions write a comment and i hope i see you soon